Hello, on this Sunday afternoon. Uh, we're gonna visit Spain again. I think it's been a while. And uh, of course, some of my favorite areas, which is in the uh, Priorat and neighboring regions. This is uh, from Montsant, which is right next to Priorat. It's a Grenache, it's called Come to, and it's by Clomogador, the owners of Clomogador. So it's one of their uh, uh, vineyards and bottlings. We'll talk a little bit about this. Uh, the label is a very distinctive label. It's an artistic project between one of the sons and his mother, Isabel. And it's got a lot going on. Uh, Come to is supposed to be inclusive. It's about all of us being the same, being together. Uh, in the eyes, and I think if you, you know, you need to get a hold of the bottle. You have two different people, in, one in each eye, of different races, races reaching out for each other. So it's all very expressive. It's supposed to be that. But that being said, the wine has to be good. And knowing that this is really made by the Barbier family, of course, you have high expectations. They started developing in the Montsant area at the turn of the century. First with a cooperative in the village of uh, uh, Figuera, uh, and they were buying grapes, some you know, from some old vines and, and a mix of vineyards. And a couple of years ago, they bought, they bought their own vineyards and they're increasing the production of the Grenache. This is all 100% Grenache to put in this bottling and the uh, other Grenache bottling they have, which is called a spectacle, and that's a higher price, higher rated uh, uh, wine. This is very good. Uh, it's uh, aged in food for 18 uh, months. Then it's bottled in this sort of uh, artistic label. And it's uh, this is 2017. Well, we should be able to drink it fairly young, uh, even though it's pretty, uh, it could also age quite a bit. It's 15% alcohol, so it's pretty high alcohol. It's a high elevation wine. I mean, relatively 600 meters, a couple thousand feet. And uh, it just comes from that area that we've talked a lot about and with these producers, you know, the Barbier family, whom we've talked a lot about as well. Let's see what we have here. Lots of fruit on the nose, uh, a little bit of that sort of smokiness or maybe incense, incense which is nice, and that volatile, volatile alcohol. You know, the fruit is there. Again, it's 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 Grenache, it's young Grenache. You're gonna have a lot of fruit in it. Uh, this has been sitting in the glass for a bit. I just wanted to make sure all these um, uh, sort of aromas develop. And on the, the colors is a, is typical Grenache, sort of like this dark red, a little bit of a tint of uh, purple in it. Uh, it's pretty clear. Um, doesn't have any deposit, but again, it's a pretty young wine. It's got definitely lots of acidity. This is a wine that can age. You can you can see the you can definitely feel the fruit. There's a little bit of that dark chocolate sort of tannin that I find in in a lot of these. Um, it's just sort of uh, chewable to some extent because it's got that body. Um, it is, uh, I, I don't know, I think this is a bottle I'd like to keep for a little longer. I, I may buy some more and age them. I, I just think it's very strong, very uh, energetic, and, and maybe a little too much, you know, uh, especially with a degree of alcohol. It might meddle down with age, but it certainly has all the characteristics of something that can become even better with time although right now it's very enjoyable this is not uh, you know a cheap bottle of wine it's we're talking somewhere between 40 and 50 so it is it is a nice i mean and these guys again they make really just amazing wine and i think you you know uh, you'll always get your money's worth even though it's not a, a very low price of entry in any case, um, I'm gonna enjoy this this afternoon and for the next couple of days. Uh, give it a try. It's a new project, relatively new. It's uh, a lot of emotion was put into it and the quality is, I think, is gonna improve more and more over time because the vines are getting older. They're 
try, they've taken ownership of the vineyards along with the encouragement of the local uh, farmers through the cooperatives. So it's another one of these projects that's really supposed to be investing in the whole region and not just to make wine. And that seems to be part of the impact this family has made on the Priorat and the Monsant area. Uh, and with the second generation, now there are three kids, three uh, sons who are all involved and they all have something to say and something uh, to say about what's going on and about developing new projects. Anyway, uh, uh, enjoy and uh, we'll see you soon.